Hi, I'm Rachel and this is Lene and we're here at the DSCC FMWR Fitness Center and today we're going to take you through a boot camp style workout. Uh, we'll start off with a warm up, go through the workout and then end with a cool down. Alright, let's get started on the warm up. First, Lene is going to do 20 jumping jacks. Go ahead and go. Ten more. All right, next we're going to go into Samson lunges. So it's going to be a lunge and a stretch back. Ten total, so five each side. Yep, get a good reach back when you're leaning back there. Two. Some things you want to watch for on this one, you want to make sure that knee in the front isn't coming over your toe. Chalene is doing a good job of that, so make sure when you guys are doing these, uh, you're following those same, same instructions. Couple more here. All right, next is going to be a spidey lunge. So this one's going to be in a plank position, and you're going to bring your foot up towards your hand to feel a good stretch in that hip and, uh, and your opposite uh, hip flexor. Okay, we'll do five each side again. Bring that foot a little bit closer up to your hand. There you go. And then go with a flat foot. One more each side. All right, come on up. All right, now we're going to repeat that warm up again, so go through it two times. Ten more. All right, next we're going to go into Samson lunges. So it's going to be a lunge and a stretch back. Ten total, so five each side. Yep, get a good reach back when you're leaning back there. Two. Some things you want to watch for on this one, you want to make sure that knee in the front isn't coming over your toe. Chalene is doing a good job of that, so make sure when you guys are doing these, uh, you're following those same, same instructions. Couple more here. All right, next is going to be a spidey lunge. So this one's going to be in a plank position, and you're going to bring your foot up towards your hand to feel a good stretch in that hip and, uh, and your opposite uh, hip flexor. Good, we'll do five each side again. Bring that foot a little bit closer up to your hand. There you go. And then go with a flat foot. One more each side. All right, come on up. Next up, we'll have you jog around your house or jog in place for three minutes. It can just be a light, easy jog, just getting your heart rate up and getting those muscles warmed up, ready for the workout.
All right, we're going to start off the workout uh, with the ab segment, and it's going to start off with 20 crunches. Go ahead and go. Okay, make sure you're bringing your shoulder blades up off the ground. Try to get your um, eyes up to the ceiling, and make sure your chin's not on your chest. Next up on the ab segment, we're doing side to side crunches. We're going to go uh, 20 each side, so that'll be 40 total. Make sure you keep your eyes up to the ceiling, chin up off your chest, and we're going opposite elbow, opposite knee. Go ahead and go. Halfway. Ten more. And time. Good. Next up is the front plank. We're going to hold this for one minute. If you need to modify, you can always drop down a little bit um, or, or decrease the time. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Up and hold. Good. Keep everything in a nice straight line. Elbows should be directly underneath those shoulders like Lene's doing here. Abs should be tight. Make sure you're breathing. Nice job, you're at 30 seconds, halfway there. You're at 45, 15 more seconds. Good, stay up, five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, next up is a leg segment. We're going to start off with lunges. You can either do stationary or a split jump. Um, we'll start off with 10 each side. Go ahead and go. These are the stationary lunges. And then just make sure that knee's not coming way over that toe. So walk your foot forward a little bit more. And then switch sides when you hit 10. Last two. Next up are side to side lunges with a touch. So feet start out wide, all right, and you're gonna lunge over to one side, touch, and then over the other side. 20 total. Ten halfway. Three more. Last one. Nice job. Next we have alternating reverse lunges. Again, we'll do 20 total, so 10 each side. Go ahead and go. Good, there's 10, halfway.
Two more. And 20, good. Next up we have squats or jump squats. 20 total. Go ahead and go. Good, there's 10. Eighteen, nineteen, one more. Twenty, good. Next up is an upper body segment. We're going to start off with ten to fifteen push ups. Go ahead and go. Five. Nine, one more. Ten. We have dips next, which are going to hit those triceps. We're going to go for ten to fifteen reps. Five, halfway. Nine, ten. Next up is a single arm row. Pick a weight that's going to be a struggle for those last couple reps. So whatever that is for you, um, if you have a water jug sitting around home, you can always use that as well. All right, here we go. 10 to 15 each side. Eight, nine, one more here, and 10. 10 to 15 on the other side. Go ahead and go. Eight, nine, one more, 10. Next for our cardio segment, we're going to start off with 20 jumping jacks. Ten. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, next up we have mountain climbers. Let's go 20 total, so 10 each side. Ten, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Next up are burpees. We'll go for ten to fifteen reps. Good, halfway, there's five. Eight, nice job. Nine, one more here. 10. Next we have high knees. We're gonna go for 20 total, so 10 each side. 10. 17, 20. Last up, our inchworm push-ups. We're gonna go for five to 10 reps. So inchworm down, do one push-up, and bring yourself back up. You should feel a good stretch in the back of your legs. Two. Three, keep your core nice and tight. Four. One more here. 
and five. All right. If you're up for a challenge, repeat that whole circuit twice. So you'll go through the ab circuit, legs, upper body, and cardio. We're going to start our cool down. If your heart rate's high a little bit, then you can walk around your house a little more. Uh, if you're ready to stretch it out though, we're going to start by doing a straight leg stretch. So you're going to reach down to your toes. We're going to hold these stretches about 30 seconds to a minute each. Make sure you're taking nice deep breaths, let your heart rates come down, feel a good stretch there in the back of your legs. Good, roll up nice and easy here. Okay, we're gonna get the quads to the front of your legs, so you're gonna pull one leg back. Okay, and hold that stretch. Other side. And if you need to balance on something, you can always hold on. Three, two, one, and you can hold all these stretches a little bit longer if you feel a little bit more sore. So 30 seconds each side if you'd like to. All right, next we're gonna get those hip flexors. So drop one leg back, kind of in a lunge position. All right, drop your back knee down and then reach back. You should feel a good stretch there in your hip flexor. Go ahead and switch sides. So other leg back, drop that back knee down, stretch back a little. Good, come on up. Cross one ankle over your knee. And if you need to hold on again, you can always hold on to something. One ankle over your knee and sit down into that. Go ahead and switch sides. <laughs> okay, come on up. Get your arms back behind your behind your back. All right, and pull back. You should feel a good stretch in your chest and shoulders. Thanks for working out with us today and be sure to check out more videos on dsccmwr.com.